right, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Mazam Fan of the Opera. I'm your guide, uh, Lottie Chan, today, I guess. Oh my god, all of the weebs out there. Anyway, so we are continuing on, and let's get into it. So, we are on chapter two. Looks like we have a kind of a submission side quest situation going on here. That damn box seat and Madame Giri, I'll tell you something, it's not in the book though. Okay, whatever that means. As time went by, the managers gradually acclimated to running the Opera House. The Phantom, what a tenacious, terrible monster he is. Does he have any idea how much Box 5 would earn us each day? Of course he knows, he wants 240,000 francs on top of that. It makes me angrier the more I think about it. The bouquet case, we can't nagging about Christine Daae. How did we inherit such a mess right from the start? All right, uh, Remy, is there any new letters addressed to us today? Here they are on the desk. All right, who are we playing as? Sorry, <laughs> my favorite. So many letters, another letter? If you're going to compose, then clean once in a while. Writing music while on duty? Well, damn. Let the man write his music. No, Shama, take a look at this envelope. Let's see, the signature is in red. How curious. Haven't you seen something like this before? Wait a minute, this crude and terrible handwriting. I'm dying. <coughs> oh, God. I'm okay. Wait a minute, this crude and terrible handwriting. It looks like the same handwriting from the Phantom's contract. <laughs> so what does the letter say? Let me read it, huh? Well, we got our, our mini game again. Disagreeable. Defy. Avoid confrontation. Little promise. Dear managers, I must apologize for this untimely intrusion upon the busiest time of your careers. I am well aware of the measures you have taken on behalf of those members of the opera whom you have deemed to be worthy in talent and potential. I am not referring here to the likes of Ms. Carlanza, Carlotta Alonso, with her inane voice, Ms. Sorelli Dupont, who places far too much confidence in her looks to justify her foolhardy behavior, or Ms. Jean Petit, who skips around like a wild calf in the plains. This is literally, I mean, it's, it's rephrased a bit, but this is literally something out of the novel, so... Nor am I referring to Miss Christine Daae, who has yet to be assigned a leading role since her divine performance at the farewell party. I do applaud your efforts to continue providing a role for her on the stage, however. Moreover, I would please ask that you continue to leave my box unreserved at all times. Recently, I suffered the most disagreeable experience seeing someone sitting in my box. It is not my intention to lodge a complaint with you gentlemen, however, when I made inquiries about the latest developments with Monsieur Debien and Monsieur Poilogny, both, both of whom have been most courteous, the gentlemen insisted that they gave you sufficient explanation about this insignificant little phantom. My only regret is that you have dared to defy me, despite having reviewed the terms of contract that I sent you. 
Therefore, please allow me to put it bluntly. If you wish to avoid any confrontation with me throughout your tenure at the Opera House, do not allow anyone else to set foot in my box again. Should you honor this minor promise, I'm sure that we will be the most excellent friends for years to come. The Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> Eric's such a cheeky asshole. <laughs> I love it. What? Is this some kind of prank? Who plays pranks like this? Like, who just sits around and says, I'm gonna f with the managers. How should I do it? I mean, it's... <laughs> I don't know. Look at this. It even came with a bit of a newspaper. What outrageous thing does it say on there? Dear Phantom of the Opera, this is from Debian and Poulangy. This is clearly the fault of R and M. We've warned the two from the start. <laughs> We've also delivered your contract to them. Best wishes. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's pretty great. <laughs> like, we ain't gonna call you out directly, but... Why did they write your name first? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, who cares? These two are real jokers, aren't they? Why would my name come after yours? What do I lack compared to you? What the hell? I just want to meet the person that did his, like, little voice effects. I, I need- I need to meet them. Forget it, I've had quite enough of pranks for now. Well, I doubt- uh, Ill intent against us when they pulled this prank. Why does everybody assume that they are being pranked? Like... <laughs> oh my god. Would have gotten a little old. We'll just have to duly return a prank with a prank, don't you think? Ah oh, yes, indeed, that's quite an idea. Remy! Okay. Yes, that may I help you, sir. Is box five on the grand tier available tonight? Yes, sir, it is. Very good. Please reserve that box seat under the names of Monsieur Debien and Monsieur Ponty. Will do, sir. Oh, great. It's time to show those two there are no such thing as phantoms. Well. Oh, looks like those two have too much time on their hands now that they've retired. Did you read how the Phantom describes Miss Sorelli and Miss Alonzo? What an insanely rude fiend. <laughs> Come to think of the farewell party, I suppose those two were interested in Christine Daae. I suppose she's a young pretty thing with no one to turn to. Aha! Uh -huh. Did you get a brilliant idea or something? Remember that we were talking outside? You're a genius when it comes to this sort of thing. Swedish country bumpkin. <laughs> Will be the end of our pride and profits. Oh dear. Wouldn't let Eric hear you talking like that. We have to compel that Miss Nobody to walk out on her own. If we fire her, the V-Count will get himself involved. If you're right, getting the Shanyi family involved would only complicate things for us. <laughs> the sound effects. But then how should we begin? Well, we need to use her weakness against her. A few more days passed. What in the world is going on? Christine's been playing only the smallest parts for days now. And she still appears as tired as ever. Those managers clearly did not listen to me. 
but why are there so many people? Heaven's sake, I suffered a near heart attack. Do you have any idea how much we pay to watch the opera? Calm down, please. Don't make such a commotion. Who's responsible for this? I must see the managers. Something happened? I hope Christine wasn't involved in any way. I must go and find out what happened. Of course you should. Ugh. Now we gotta go run around. Oh, okay. Hello. Good afternoon. Could you possibly enlighten me as to what's going on? It appears that there's been an accident. I wouldn't call it an accident, but there's been a bit of a commotion. Oh, I'm going to to you. It's nothing really. You should know Box 5 on the Grand Tier. Well, we had guests show up there in the middle of the show. While Madame Jury was elsewhere, they attempted to watch the performance from Box 5. Isn't that the same as stealing? Indeed it is. And as if sneaking into the box wasn't enough. As soon as they went in, they ran back out and called for the box keeper. Such strange behavior. Incomprehensible. Why would they ask for the box key? Who knows? I'm not sure what happened next. In any case, we had to escort them out because they kept on causing a ruckus. We even had to call the police and the firemen. What? The firemen? Hmm, I understand. I will ask the box keeper for further information. Yes, I'm sure she's much more familiar with what has happened. Alright, let's go find Madame Jiri then. That's in the way. Um. Okay. Oh, there she is. Okay. Sup? Wait, are you not the person to talk to? You're the box keeper. There's no performance today. Well, that's fine, but I'm trying. <laughs> Where do I go? My cover is blown. It's odd. Okay, is this the box keeper? Okay. I mean, reason would tell us that the box keeper would be near the boxes. And... Yet, the one that we were supposed to talk to was not. Okay, then. Have you come to ask me about your seat? No, I want to know what happened in box five. Oh, that. I've worked here for ten years, but I've never seen anything like that. Madame Jiri, who is the box keeper for box five, for box five, was absent, so I was filling in for her. Suddenly, all these people came out and looked for help. According to them, they had a, they heard a voice in the box seats, although there was no one there. A voice when no one was there? I mean, I know what part of the book they're referencing here, but... It's just Eric being a dick, per usual. But we love him, so. Uh, they say the voice said, this seat is taken. So I went in there to check for myself. But I didn't see a soul, less, much less hear a voice. When I asked Madame Giri about the incident when she returned, she said the voice belonged to the Phantom of the Opera. Only Madame Giri dares to talk about the Phantom in such a manner. And to will hear you. <laughs> do the managers know about this? Sure they do, since a report has been filed. As for the details, you can go ask Madame Jiri yourself. Thank you. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it was Madame Jiri that I originally tried to talk to, but I was supposed to talk to this chick first. And now we have to go back up to the boxes. Ugh, if they could hear the Phantom's voice during the performance, Christine must have been shivering in fear. Where can I meet 
Miss Madame Jury any Well Again logic would dictate No Really? That's not that's not her Miss Madame Jury Oh, well, I guess she did look different when we saw her for- Oh, we gotta go find- Ugh. Let's just go traipsing around the opera house and- I mean, where would she be? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense for her to be back here. Hey, Jean, where is she? Um, okay. Well, <laughs> okay, there she is. She just appears out of nowhere. Ugh, these conversations and the way they trigger events. God. Okay. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you happen to know where I could meet Madame Jury? Madame Jury? I'm Madame Jury. Person truly in charge of this opera house. What? <laughs> okay, that's a new one. Oh, and would you happen to know what happened at box five? Uh, on my way to file a report. It is my pleasure to meet you, Madame Jury. I am Vicomte Raldeshin. If you're on your way to the manager's office, may I accompany you? Why, of course. Since the managers know about this incident, I may be able to find my boat. Okay, now we go to the manager's office. I wonder if the Opera Garnier is like, if it's laid out anything like this. <laughs> like in real life, I I go see it for the first time, be like, oh, so I know my way around. Don't worry about. It. I played the Masm game. All right, let's go knock. Yes, do come in. See yourself out. Okay. Uh, now he makes a rather odd sound. Like, it doesn't even sound human. <laughs> like, it. <laughs> oh my god. What's going on? Uh, I am Sarah Jerry. I, I've heard a few, like, you know, I mean, unofficial names for Madame Jerry. Sarah is definitely not one that I have heard before. <laughs> it seems like people tend to go with, um, like, Adele the most. But, yeah, um... Sarah Jiri, that's that's one that I that I haven't heard. You must be aware I'm the mother of Meg Jiri, the principal dancer. Never heard of this Meg Jiri. <laughs> Explain what happened. The report explicitly said the fan reveal. Uh, about that, I was meaning to meet you as soon as possible to explain the situation. I wanted to save you the trouble that Debian and Fulani had to endure at the Phantom's hands, you see. They did not listen to me either at first. That's not the problem here. <laughs> the voice from yesterday evening. What does that voice have to do with the Phantom? Nobody learns. What happened yesterday? Happened because people disturbed the phantom. <laughs> Settle down. What you're thinking? Is there really a ghost in box five? It's really true. I've heard the voice many times before myself. For your information, Monsieur Montchamin, Madame Giry is not known to be a liar. What I'm saying is she's not the type to try to play a prank on you. Then what did the phantom say to you? 
he asked me for a little stool. I mean, that is something that happens. You know. He asks for a footstool for his lady. <laughs> a little stool, the phantom must be quite short. Please stop laughing. Shall we go and see box five right away then? I'll try to explain it the best I can. Very well, fine, will you join us? Figure. The more witnesses, the better. Uh, of course. Yeah, Raoul was not this heavily involved uh, in everything in the novel. He just came to fuck shit up with Christine and then left. Certainly things will be fine. The Phantom won't dare to show itself to all these people. I mean, he waltzed in in the middle of the foyer during the farewell party. I think this is the least of his worries. Once I hear what Madame Jiri has to say, I may find out whatever that phantom may be. Hi. Gotta go traipsing around again. Um, everyone's right here. <laughs> okay. Excuse me. Everyone knows the way to box five. Or should I show you the way? This happened in the box that I'm responsible for. So it's my responsibility to guide you and explain to you what happened. Phantom of the Opera, that damn phantom. Very well, lead the way. Let's see the little stool the phantom asked for. If we're lucky, we might even get to meet him. <laughs> As Madame Jury without the fit. Should I follow her to see what she has to say for now? Y'all, I'm so tired. Like, ugh, my camera's getting dark up there. Might be time to turn on the. Okay. It's officially time for the ring light. The sun is setting. <laughs> have the chance before, but today I shall check every inch of the box seat. Ugh, y'all, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm, like, not terribly witty today. I School started back last week, and now I'm exhausted. <laughs> Yay. Now stop getting distracted and get in there. You'll miss my story if you lag behind. Alright, let's hear this damn story of yours. Do do do. <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> not the not the name I probably would have chosen, but alright. I don't see anything extraordinary about this box seat. So this is box five currently under my care. <gasps> Any questions? As a matter of fact, I would like to ask you a few things, madame. Ask away. The phantom required a small stool. Are they a child or a woman? <laughs> No, the phantom is an adult male. <laughs> How would you know that? Because it was clearly a man's voice that I heard. Ah, oh, and a very rich and sweet voice. 
One day I heard someone knocking on the door of box five, so I went to see who was there, but to my surprise, there was no one. Of course there was no one there. But then it happened. Madam Jerry, I'm sorry to trouble, but can you bring me a little stool? Don't be frightened, I'm the fan of the opera. <laughs> there are a lot of instances where I'd really love to know, like, I'd love a depiction of, like, how exactly a conversation between Eric and somebody occurred. <laughs> the months of Madame Jury in particular. Just imagine the two of them shooting the shit in Box 5. Just, yeah, so, what's up with you? The voice was soft and gentle. So soft and gentle that my fears subsided. So what happened next? I will tell you this with certainty, gentlemen. The voice's owner must have been sitting on the comfortable chair of the left in the first row. She's got some perceptive ass hearing. The voice was coming from where you're standing right now. Count. Wait, there's no body, only a voice? This is like... Rashad, there must be something wrong with that lady's head. <laughs> I must agree. So what did you do? I brought him a stool. She, she just looks so pleased with herself. I love it. <laughs> and ever since then, the Phantom has given me a coin as a tip every day. Sometimes when I hadn't come in for a while, he would even give me a note. Hang on, old lady! <laughs> voice from last evening is the phantoms. Are you saying a disembodied voice has been tipping you? What old lady? How rude. The money was always placed on this table. Heavens, that was a good possible. One time you even left a box of my favorite English sweets. What a kind ghost the phantom is. Long as you do what he, you. I cannot talk today. I'm so tired. <laughs> oh, please, a kind ghost. What other evidence do you have that you're not just imagining things? Uh, box keeping is such a great job. Alright. Oh, does that answer your questions? I've heard the madam's story, but I'm still... Oh, if you got to show me, please hold on a moment. You heard the woman, right? At this rate, Madame Jury could offer up this opera house and our authority to the Phantom in wholesale. <laughs> You're right about that. I don't want to see Madame Jury work here ever again. Oh yeah, they do fire her at one point in the novel, and then Eric gets pissed. <laughs> oh my god, that's so... Oh no! But we stand, Madame Jury. Ah, <sighs> Madame Jury no longer has a position at this opera house as of today. Please duly relay the information to the madame. Ugh. Dicks. Very well, Madame Jury. Off you go, then. Then goodbye, gentlemen. She does not seem upset at all. Pleasant voice, seemingly coming out of nowhere. That reminds me of the voice that I heard in Christine's dressing room. Let's head back to Rashad and... The Vicomte de Chagny, come with us if you still have business to settle with us. I feel so bad for the madame as well as Miss Jury. They, they, they fire her, and I mean, she had like zero reaction. Like, that was the most pleasant 
dismissal of an employee I think I've ever seen. Are they gonna make us walk all the way back? Yeah, they are. Okay, we're back in here. How could we ever entrust the box to the box seats to someone lured by the phantom? Richard, something about this does not feel right. How about we take another look at box five? Well, thank you. The more interested I take in that thing, the more displeased I become. We did discover some important information, did we not? Remy, get in touch with Monsieur Mifois. The dude whose cover has been blown. Ugh. Uh, about her being obnoxious. You're obnoxious. Ugh. Hello, Monsieur. Any good news? We believe we found the culprit behind Monsieur Bouquet's murder. Well, I'll be. I mean, I appreciate you making my job easy, but this could make the police look incompetent. <laughs> Who's the culprit? <laughs> They're gonna blame it. On Madame Giri. <laughs> okay. Sure. <laughs> she was ordered by this so called phantom to commit the murder on his behalf. What was the motive for the murder? <laughs> you two must. You two must be correct. A few coins and some English sweets are such a strong motive. Okay, Ral, I can appreciate your sass here. Don't get used to it. I'm still Team Eric. That explains all the violent crimes out there. Of course not. Phantom was trying to set an example for us by having the lady kill someone important like the stage manager. My goodness, what a flawless deduction! <laughs> Please get the stars on the eye! <laughs> oh, I, I like, I enjoy this. <laughs> so do we need to just arrest Madame Jiri now? Even though you have absolutely no proof. Yes, that's how, that's how arrests work. We have absolutely no proof that it was you, but, you know... You're going to jail, bitch. <laughs> <sighs> but you haven't been able to uncover who the Phantom is. He's the only... He's the one who supposedly gave these orders. Is that so important here? It's crystal clear who committed the murder. He's still, what, what is that, an accessory to murder? Or, I mean, he, he hired a, a, a hitman, technically? I mean... <laughs> Except Madame Jury didn't fucking kill anybody! <laughs> Madame Jury would do anything for the Phantom. So what would keep her from committing murder for him, too? A lot of things. We tried to come up with reasons to get her fired from the opera house. <laughs> and this one surely sounds more plausible than the Christine Daae conspiracy theory. Of course it does. When you say the Christine Daae conspiracy theory, are you trying to get Christine fired from the opera house? What business is that of yours? Well. See the... You're attempting to force me out now? Beg your pardon. 
<laughs> Probably the scorch. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's Ral, so I secretly am kind of like, ha, but. So nice to see the. It's so nice to see the back of that troublemaker. That's probably the most interesting way I've ever heard anybody put. I'm glad to see that person leave. Interesting. I'm about to start using that one from now on. But I did not like the way he looked at us just now. What does the Vicom think of us? Well, he probably thinks you're dicks. Oh, Christ. Please wait. What's up? My apologies. Personally, I don't like this one bit, but I have no choice. Orders, you say. It's probably... the because they were discussing something they wouldn't they would rather I didn't overhear I need to hear from you what are the managers up to I'm not at liberty to say people such as I do must do as we are told to make a living as you wish continue to let the managers control you forever then after Christine is fired, you could be next. What would you say then? Ho oh, ho ho. Surely you've never had such concerns, V Count. Ooh. Spicy. Check your privilege. Madame Jury does seem suspicious, but there is no definite evidence or motive for murder. No. She really did commit her. Committed. <laughs> If she really did commit murder just for a handful of coins, she would indeed be a heinous villain. <laughs> mm. But no person in their right mind would do such a terrible thing for such paltry sums. The real culprit must be someone else, whether it's the Phantom of the Opera or another employee at the Opera House. Since they framed Madame Giry, surely they could do the same to Christine. I mustn't allow... <laughs> I can't talk today. I mustn't allow them to embroil Christine in the murder case. Yeah, you two reaching. Alright. And that was the secret of box five. But why does it say I only completed 94% of it? I'm confused. Alright, well, we will just save that for another time because I'm tired. I'm gonna go take a nap. So, okay. Here's the dealio, my peeps. Um, so, I recently uh, started back... Uh, for spring semester of college uh, last week and uh, the it's really as you can tell uh, affected my my schedule quite a bit and so um, I've been uploading late uh, recently so I may end up switching um, the days that I do my weekly uploads um, I may be switching them to uh, Fridays I don't know um, but I'll keep you guys updated um, there's, there's no definite on um, a, a, a change, but if it continues to be an issue and I continue to be late, then I will be moving the upload day. So, I love y'all. Happy 2020. Stay fantastic with a PH and keep your hand at the level of your eyes.